in October of last year. CBP officers at the Miami Airmail facility did an inspection of a shipment that was outbound to Argentina and found multiple weapon parts. They understood that these are controlled items and that they're being smuggled out of the United States. So they detain and seize those items, and then they contact HSI to do the follow-up investigative uh, side of it. So what we have here from the seizure, we have the butt stocked. We have the lower receiver, the upper receiver, the barrel. These are very tactical SWAT-esque types of rifles. They buy these parts from different vendors, ship them out separately, and once they are received, they figure out ways to put them together and sell them as complete weapons like this. So the components here in the United States would cost around $650 to $800. In Argentina, the components could cost up to $20,000 to $25,000. Being smuggled out of the United States and into the hands of the criminal organization in Argentina and Brazil. We've reached out to HSI Buenos Aires that is located in Argentina. We start sharing information with them and by extension with the Argentinian government. We start working an international joint investigation. We're looking for guns. As big a seizure of guns as we can get because we want those guns out of the hands of bad guys. It's no more complicated than that. The first house that the Argentinians are going to hit, that particular subject is very high up in the hierarchy of both sides of the investigation. The nature of weapons investigations is there's always guns there, so the threat assessment is always sky high. Up here to the left. We're going to be doing everything we can to stay out of their way because they have their own process, they have their own way of gathering evidence, their own procedures. We are guests in their country, so we are very cognizant of our role here. The first target that we hit is one of the main targets for the Argentinians. Found a bunker within his home. They found a cache of weapons, a ton of guns in one room. We 
Everybody's okay? Yeah, everything's good. We found in the back by the pool, he has a little shop back there, so it looks like he had tools in. We saw machine tools. Yeah. It looks like weapon parts, sort of has like molds and different pieces and labels of gun parts and things of that nature. So. Okay. We are flabbergasted at what the operation thus far has netted. It's amazing to see all of this come together. Right now, here in Argentina, we're at approximately 50 different locations, 50 different search warrants, but we're doing our best to have these things all happen as concurrently as we possibly can. For a, a network as sophisticated as this is, every gun we get as part of this operation is one less gun that's out on the street. 